It's 4.15 in the afternoon. Time to thread the needle. We gotta ease up there real slow, just kinda letting the wind ease me into it. Captain Don and his crew must somehow fit this huge barge carrying Michael and Jennifer's 4,000 square foot home under this highway bridge. I'll get in the track hole when we get up around the bridge to help us guide through the bridge. Side to side, there's just 12 feet of wiggle room between the bridge and the barge. They're kind of under some pressure right now. So I'm just sitting back, staying out of the way. Hold up on Don. Put your bucket down. That's what they put that fender work there for, is to kind of use it as a guide. But that's not going to be the tightest squeeze. This is. Nobody's sure whether the house will fit under the bridge. They say it's going to be close. Captain Don must rely on a worker on the roof to guide him through. I was trying to communicate with Don. He was crouched down looking out the window of the wheelhouse at me, and I was giving him hand signals, you know, to keep coming on. First off, we're worried about the lights hanging down on the bridge. But another gentleman up there figured out that the lights would swing. They swing them up to change the bulbs. John was on the roof telling me, we got two inches. Let's go. <laughs> so we win. We made it. We were very close. We cleared by that much. They make it with just inches to spare. Well, two <laughs> inches is as good as a mile. Isn't it? <laughs> really? Yeah. I couldn't slip my hand between the chimney and the bridge. I see a bridge that's still standing. I see a house that's still got a chimney and a roof on it. I see a bunch of smiles on some faces. <laughs> we're good to go. We made it through the bridge. No sweat now. Everything else is uh, Home free. But there's little time to relax. They still have more than 10 miles to go. We probably got another, maybe an hour and a half, hopefully not two hours. We're about to run out of daylight. And the rest of the journey is on a narrow and winding river. We are now still in the Perdido River. Can't you see some lady fixing dinner for her husband? She says, oh my God, honey, there's a house coming up the river. But this house is headed the wrong way. Yeah, it seems like we made a wrong turn. <laughs> You're going to have to back up and go through yonder. <laughs> That's what they put reverse on these things for. Are you sure we're on the right road now? <laughs> now this is the Styx River. We're real close. <laughs> just a half hour of daylight left, they are almost there. You see those people on the bank? That's where we're going. We're finally here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a big relief off my chest. I'm so excited that we finally have our home up to our site. Six and a half hours after setting sail and just minutes before sunset, Jennifer and Michael finally arrive home. Yeah, Mission accomplished. Yeah. We finally made it. It may look like a, it's in the middle of nowhere, but it's really not. <laughs> the next morning, the house is unloaded from the barge. I'm so excited. This is finally the end. And now it's in Michael and Jennifer's hands to transform it into their home. Do you think it should kind of face up the river a tad, or you think it should be straight, or? Well, I think it should be straight at the water. I didn't want them one day to pull out here in a boat and say, oh, I wish I'd have turned the house. It's finally home. My kids are definitely going to be raised the same way I was, right here on the water. I can't wait to have a big family outing up here and talk about how we got here. Maybe see a bunch of grandkids running around one day. The view of your new home. Perfect. On the river. <laughs> A job well done.